joined the Fox Sports commentary team and we're very happy to have him with us, our very good friend, Mr John Aloisi. Hello, mate. Look at you, you really let yourself go. <laughs> Guys, before we talk, yeah, uh, yes, just, I just, uh, uh, John, have you seen Cinderella Man? <laughs> it's, uh, no? Yes, I have. You have yeah, seen? Yeah. It's not a bad movie. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, what surprised me is that I didn't realise Russell Crowe was actually such a romantic lead. Really? Oh, yeah, no, no. no. Really? Uh, he's got. He, he, do you, have you have you not seen him in one of these really steamy no, love I scenes? Haven't. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Just beautiful. Uh, <laughs> how beautiful is that? Yeah, he's beautiful. That's why he's won an Oscar. He's won an Oscar. <laughs> John, welcome to the show. Um, John, uh, there's so many things that we can talk about, but uh, where Just do we pick start? one? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, the launch today. I mean, well, Damien was. At oh the no, you were there as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, how was exciting it? is it? I mean, it, I mean, it must be interesting for you. You were at Melbourne Heart last year, the rebrand Melbourne City. How was it? What was it like to be there today? Oh, it was great to see uh, David Villa in our country and uh, mm. World Cup winner. He last year won the championship with uh, Atletico Madrid and mm. to see him play now in the A-League is something special. And not only him, I saw Andy Keogh is a, a striker for yes. Perth Glory, yeah, yeah. Irish international. Yeah, he's played in England uh, a long time, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, also Bessart Berisha now at Melbourne Victory. So, and, and in Karuska. And yeah, we saw yeah. Karuska play for the All-Stars against with Juventus wow. and, and he showed how much quality he has so mm. I thought you know seeing those four teams there today and I'm not talking about the teams that were in Sydney so mm. I think there's a lot you of quality. You were saying that they all, there's a, they all genuinely believe they've got a chance. Yeah they do and at the beginning of the season everyone's going to think that especially now with the salary cap uh, the, the teams are, are pretty even yep. all right uh, Melbourne City have probably spent the most in yeah, terms right. of uh, players outside the salary cap yeah. but I Whoa, think that... Whoa is that a scoop? <laughs> <laughs> Be very, very careful about what you say. You know? yeah. Well, they got a marquee and they also got a guest player, so yeah. they can be yeah. outside. I like the guest player because I remember when A League first started, there was a bit of. I remember Romario played a few games for Adelaide United. There was uh, Kaziyoshi Mura. He played, I think, for Sydney a few games. I like that guest player thing. I'm glad it's back. I'm glad we're getting to see those those talents even for a little bit. I think it's important that the guest player uh, is here to play good football. And David Villa mentioned today that he wants to leave a good impression not only on the league but also for Melbourne City supporters mm. and also prepare himself well for New York City. And mm. I think he's coming at an age that he can still perform at the highest level. Yeah. Um, it would be remiss of us if we didn't talk about the Socceroos. Mm. Uh, we've forgotten there's an... Actually, Socceroos are playing this Saturday night in... Uh, where are they playing? Are they, is it the UAE? UAE. In the, no, actually, yeah. are playing yeah. in the UAE against yeah. the UAE. And um, we've, the World Cup, two or three months ago now, uh, in the cold light of day, John, how... You know, we were pretty excited at the time. Looking back at it, how do you think we went? How do you think we're progressing? Uh, are, are we hitting all the marks that we, we, we should be hitting at, at this point in time? I think so. Ange mentioned before that uh, the World Cup that uh, it was a, a change of guard. Mm. Um, quite a few older players were retiring or he didn't pick and he was picking a lot of young players and he wanted to change the style of football. We saw the first game against Chile take away the first 15 minutes, mm. we were we brilliant and yep. we, we really had a go and we should have got something out of that game. Mm. Against the Dutch, I thought that we deserved to win the game. Sure. Um, we ended up losing. Yeah. But we, we do Against have to... Against Spain? No, look, no. Spain uh, was too good for us. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we won't talk about we'll that. Yeah, yeah. What I will say is that uh, we, we come a long way under Ange in a short period of time. So now he's got uh, another three months before the Asian Cup. Yeah. And I think that uh, if we can make sure we don't make simple mistakes at the back, which we have been, yeah. um, then I think that we're a strong contender for the Asian Cup. Yeah, OK. Uh -oh. Part of the uh, reason that we're, we've got you on today, and we hope to have you like on a lot uh, more during the season, is actually... Because I don't work anymore? Is yeah. that... <laughs> <laughs> it's just great that you're here, all right? <laughs> um, one of the things, we want to pick out certain things during the week and just bring them to your attention and just see what you... Exactly. Because, you know, you've been there, you played in, you played in Spain, you played in England. England, you played... You... Mm. You told right. me to say that. You told me to tell me. <laughs> so this was from the weekend. QPR manager, um, uh, Harry Redknapp, yep. who always reminds me of Arthur Daly from Minder, by the way. But here he is on the sideline. Have a look in here, uh, John. It's a phone call. Phone call. 
takes it, hands it to his assistant, who takes uh, the call. That's amazing. Now, when you're on the sideline, first of all, is that common? Have you ever seen that? Did you do it? No, I've, I've never seen actual uh, some a coach taking a phone call, but um, over in, in Europe you're allowed to communicate with someone upstairs. Here in Australia we weren't. I don't know if the rules have changed, yeah. but um, Harry Redknapp would have been uh, getting a phone call from Glenn Hoddle, who is now one of the uh, part of the coaching staff there mm. at QPR, uh, because you see much more from upstairs. Okay. But he probably didn't like what he was going to hear, so he just passed his phone We're off. terrible! <laughs> Actually, if you look carefully, he actually hands it over, but he keeps looking. Yeah. He actually keeps looking uh, and going, what, yeah. what's, what's he actually saying? What's he got to I say? think that was just yeah. in case the assistant updated his uh, Tinder account. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here's, a, here's one for you, though, John. <laughs> this is uh, Cheadle Town. Who, so a, they're a non-leaguer, are they? They are absolutely non-leaguer. Okay. <laughs> they played a Russian under-19s national squad. Oh, for what? Uh, just a practice game a on the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. And um, they went down 22-0. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. We've got some highlights here. Well, highlights? Highlights, highlights is a strong word. Uh, Russia's in red, by the way. Oh. Just let it <laughs> and uh, they went down 22. It's, one, it's a pretty heavy defeat. Um, oh. Although they were... Oh, 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 he almost oh, got that one. They were pretty happy. <laughs> this oh. last one is my favourite. This yep. is... Um, Sums it up. <laughs> took a bound, took a bad bounce. That is so Cheadle Town. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but they, 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 a couple of positives. One is that the Cheadle Town were happy because they were trending on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, you know, you're in for a tough game when the uh, guy in, in charge of the t uh, Cheadle uh, Twitter account, mm. he at one stage he tweeted, "We got a corner." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's a heavy defeat. I ask this doing? mildly seriously because you know, if if a, if a game is not going your way. At what stage of a 22 but, nil victory? Do in fact, you... you've been involved. When we're talking in, in the good old days of Oceania, you, you were involved <laughs> in a pretty big win. No, I wasn't you? playing that game. Right. That was when the, we beat American, uh, Samoa. American Samoa. Archie Thompson got what was the score. Yeah. I think it was 31 nil. 31 nil. Yeah. I've, got, I've got all the goals tattooed on my back. <laughs> <laughs> Archie Thompson got 13, so yeah, you got Archie Thompson. I scored 13, yeah, 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 absolutely. What can, what can you do as a manager or as a player in that situation? They, they, they were 1 0 down. They kept them out for four minutes, by the way. And then the floodgates opened. But 22 0, when do you park the bus? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good question because it was a friendly That's game. Funny. But in the league game, like in the, the UK, the Premier League, that uh, goal difference does count. So if a, a bottom side is getting beaten by a top side by a lot, they, they will sit off and try and park the bus. Mm. But um, in Spain, you see it a little bit different right. because goal difference doesn't oh. count. It, oh, it's head-to-head. Okay. -head. Mm. Right. And so if they're 2-0 down against Real Madrid, say, uh, a team down the bottom, Granada, they will actually still try and go and win the game. That's, or a, great, get... that's a great system. Yeah, well, so, so you, so you, what you're doing is at least you're giving it a go, going, well, it doesn't matter. If well, I'm that's just right. Yeah, sometimes it is great, but then when you lose eight two, it's not. You <laughs> 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 got the two though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so on, on, uh, just on the uh, Arsene Wenger and uh, Jose Mourinho stash, um, you've been involved in, in obviously in heated games. You've been down on a bench. Um, well, what happens in that situation? Is, is, I mean, people are saying that Arsene Wenger went a bit too far. He, should, he shouldn't have pushed, pushed Jose Mourinho, but. Uh, in that situation, when you're when things are happening, your play gets tackled. Um, what goes through your head? Oh, I usually yell at the referee first, right. um, and then after <laughs> you, you, know, you try not to. Um, I think Jose Mourinho now he's in. Uh, Wenger's head. He is, isn't right. he? Yeah, he, he just can't. He can't stand him. He can't no, keep his cool when Mourinho's right. around. And Wenger's never beaten him. Either. No, he's never beaten no. him. So uh, Mourinho is. Uh, he's brilliant at playing the media, and he's brilliant at press conferences. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and I think that uh, Guardiola said it when they were in Spain. He said, "I won't go up against uh, Mourinho in a press conference. Right. I'll, yeah. I'll compete with him on the pitch." Whereas Wenger's actually tried to go can't up against himself. him and keeps on Here's losing. A stat. He's got this one from the Guardian. In 15 games. Uh, last 15 games versus City, uh, Chelsea and United in the Premier League, Arsenal haven't had a win. So they're just not, they're just not that top, top echelon, are they? Not at the moment. Uh, we have to remember that uh, Wenger uh, had that classic team that they won everything. And then who came along and knocked him off? Mourinho. Mm -hmm. see, and but, I think well, so that's what, where it so started. So what do you do? What, OK, as a coach, in that situation, what do you do? do, you, do you, how do you... Eliminate that. I think from your that you, psyche. you. I think you can't let the opposition coach get into your head, and I th they they do try. And I think Wenger now, uh, you think that he would start to say, you know what, it's better I don't even comment about the guy anymore, mm. and try and worry about my team and, and focus on that because he's winning the war at the moment. Right. I've and got I've got an answer. I've got uh, the answer for Arsene Wenger. 
quit. There's another one. <laughs> <laughs> we are very lucky. We're going to be seeing a lot more of John Allen yes. here on our show and a lot more of him on Fox Sports, which is a fantastic yes. addition to the roster. When do, you, when do you start on Sunday nights? Uh, Saturday night, I'm starting uh, the Sydney FC Melbourne City game this week. Fantastic. Uh, we'll so looking watching. forward to that. All right, excellent. Please thank John Allen